Hey guys, it's Saturday, December 17th. having a Christmas party for all of my family on my mom's side. We usually get together a week before Christmas because um, it's all the aunts, uncles, cousins, my grandmother. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. And the first year we're doing it in our condo in the party room. So we're trying something different and I'm really excited. And that's it. So it's an ugly sweater Christmas party and everyone got their like tacky Christmas sweaters. And this is the one if you watched my other vlog, I bought it at Walmart. So it's Santa and Rudolph uh, taking a selfie with a selfie stick. I think it's so cute. So me. Uh, where's Jim's? Jim, it's time to put on your sweater. Hello. This one's so cute. That's so funny. <laughs> I want to see it. This camera, I can't figure out the settings. Anytime I move, it, it goes blurry in slow motion. Maybe I just need to go in slow motion so it goes Yeah, it catches up. Faster. I gotta say though, it's not like scratchy, so that's it's good. It's soft. I love it. It looks big on you though. It is. And that's the way I like it, and it's ugly, and it's not really ugly, it's kind of... It's, so, yours is, yours is ugly, mine's tacky. Merry Christmas! Mwah. So, what's that angle? I, I don't think so. mm, uh, no, no. Sideways so we can get you in, and then, whoa, whoa, ruining the vlog. This is the only way we can both get in here, in the shot. Thumbnail! Hey guys, it is Wednesday, December 21st. We're a few days away from Christmas and I'm super excited. Um, I never get, like every single year, I never really get excited for Christmas at all, months leading up, weeks leading up, until I wrap my Christmas gifts. Like even the week before Christmas, I wasn't excited until today that I wrapped my Christmas gifts and it just gets me so excited because I love giving gifts and I, um, love thinking of what to get someone and if and and knowing that they'll like it and and i can't wait to give it to them so that's what i just did and that's why i'm super excited um i'm i also want to vlog today because i woke up feeling very positive and as if that cloud that has been over my head for the last few months it feels like it kind of lifted and I had to document it because the last few vlogs that I've had have all been about my depression and feeling frustrated and having regret and feeling bummed and upset. I've always been prone to getting in little funks or little depressions here and there. Uh, they usually would last a week or so and then I they'd lift and everything would be okay for a while. But this one lasted a few months and especially like when I started noticing the changes in my body from the weight gain from my honeymoon. So when I started seeing the bloatedness and the chubby cheeks and everything, I started getting more down and disappointed and frustrated. And you'll know that if you've watched my last few videos. So it's been going on every day for the last couple months. And this morning I woke up just feeling so much more positive and so much more energetic and so much, just so much better. And I think it's because on Sunday night, we had just come off of a Christmas party on Saturday where we ate the whole world. And that past week we didn't exercise because we were busy getting ready for the holidays and Christmas shopping and all these things. And we were making excuses. So we just felt blah. And on Sunday we said, okay, we're going to work out tomorrow. When you get home from work, yes, we both committed. And we got there. We got to the gym. We usually like come up with excuses, especially during this busy time. So we got to the gym and we worked out and we felt so good and we're like, let's commit to doing this every single day this week. Because if we can commit and stick to working out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right before the Saturday and Sunday of Christmas, then we can do anything. We can prove to ourselves that we can do it. Because 
We think we're busy, but really everyone has one hour within a 24 hour period. Even during busy, crazy times, everyone can do it. Even if it's 30 minutes, it's better than nothing, right? So we, we decided to make that commitment. I announced it on Instagram because saying things usually really helps me. But um, yeah, because when I keep things to myself, then I could easily back out of it. But when I announce it, I have no choice. I feel more accountable. So that's what we did. And Monday was a healthy day. We got that workout done. Tuesday was a healthy day and we got that workout done. And this morning I woke up thinking we've stuck to it. I'm so proud of myself. And the thought of going to the gym this evening doesn't like it's totally possible it I'm like yeah obviously like I already got out my I already washed my little like uh, polar watch chest strap like I'm planning for it I'm not avoiding it like I have been for the last few months I've always said to you guys the beginning is the hardest part it's starting which is so difficult um, and then once you start once you get over that little hump um, it becomes a habit routine and things feel easier so that's what it's been. It's been just me avoiding the beginning because I know ugh, I just don't have that motivation. I don't have the energy to to start. That's like the biggest hurdle for me. And and then once I do and I get a few days under my belt, I'm it's much easier. It feels like, oh yeah, I can do this. I did it yesterday and the day before. No problem. My day was fine, right? So that's what it's been, and I think that's why I feel very, felt very positive when I woke up this morning. So waking up and feeling so positive, I feel like I've had a good, productive day. Um, I talked to my mom and grandmother, then I did like a thousand loads of laundry. Um, I finished wrapping all my Christmas gifts, which now has me excited about Christmas. So now I'm going to make um, a chili and prepare that for dinner because I like to prepare dinner early and have it ready on the stove so that when Jim gets home from work, we could quickly get our workout done and food will be ready for us to eat right away instead of having to wait and cook and because I'm really hungry after a workout. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna make a vegetarian chili. Um, so that's gonna be really, really good and tasty and it's perfect for like winter. I love soups, stews, and chilies, um, particularly in the winter, but also because you can literally throw in whatever you have in the fridge. It doesn't have to be a specific ingredients list. It's just whatever you have left over in your fridge. And it's perfect to make in big batches so that you can have leftovers for the next day. And you know, you have lunches ready at least, and if not dinner as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah. Wow. It is, now that I look at the viewfinder, it is super bright because there's so much snow on the ground and these white bright clouds filling the sky like there's no blue in the sky um so it's like so bright in my bedroom i don't even have my lights on so and my hair's super frizzy because after my workout last night i washed my hair i brushed it it dried a little bit like it air dried a little bit but then i got so tired i just went to bed so now it's just like a frizz a frizz pot a frizz pot what's a frizz pot so yeah, let me show you my gifts. I have all of the gifts here, ready to go, all wrapped. I love seeing them all together, like a sea of, of red tissue paper. I have our niece's gift in the closet because the gift is so big that it's popping out of the bag because I like I got the biggest bag possible but it's popping out and I didn't just in case my sister-in-law watches this I don't want her to see the gift um yeah so this is what gets me excited all gifts that are all ready to go Oliver wants me to play with him <laughs> he plays with socks we give him socks to play with Anyways, okay. Um, what he doesn't understand is I'm a little preoccupied with this. My YouTube channel reached 10,000 subscribers today and I'm, 
I'm over the moon. I'm so excited. It feels so crazy. Um, I remember when I just started this last year and I was so nervous and so terrified to, to put my life out there. Like it was one thing for, um, Instagram, just posting a picture here and there. And it's another thing to film your thoughts and your day and your life and, it's nerve wracking. You don't know how people are going to respond or what they're going to think or say. And you guys have all been so, so amazing. And this milestone is huge. I remember when I hit 10,000 subscribers on Instagram, it was amazing. I was blown away. It, it felt great, but this feels so much more amazing because it, it's a lot more work. You know, you film all day, it takes hours to edit and upload. And so this is validation. Like you guys actually enjoy what I do. And it's like, I'm not wasting my time. You guys appreciate it. And this just feels, I'm sorry, I'm not coherent. I just don't know what to say. I just want to say thank you. My last video, I had said that we were so close and it would have been cool to hit this for Christmas. And we're several days away from Christmas and we hit it and it's just the best gift ever. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. If you have subscribed, if you've liked my videos, if you've shared my videos, you guys help me more than you know. You help me personally, but also you help to grow my channel and making all of this effort worth it. And I just love you guys. Thank you so much. Oliver, you're over there eating. You're eating instead of celebrating with me? You crazy? How dare you? Rude. Okay, so this is what I've got going on with my chili so far. So what I did was I chopped up a large onion, a large clove of garlic, and started sauteing that on the stove with a little bit of olive oil. And then I proceeded to add in three carrots and one large potato, as well as a medium green pepper. And once the um, onions were a little translucent, I put in two cans of uh, diced tomatoes, and then two cans of black beans, and one can of corn. And I also put in a carton of chicken stock because I needed more liquid because I knew that the potatoes would absorb any liquid that was in the cans of uh, tomatoes. So yeah, and then I've let this simmer for a little bit and I seasoned it with sea salt, black pepper, a lot of chili powder, and some parsley. Um, and I let it cook on medium for about a half an hour. Now that all the flavors have come together, I'm going to add in some quinoa that I cooked in my rice cooker because I'm not adding in any ground beef or ground chicken. So that would kind of be like the substitute. So that's what I'm going to do now and mix it all in. This will also take up, like absorb a lot of the liquid. So I'm going to see where it's at and maybe I'll have to add in a little bit more broth or water, but we'll see. Okay. That's good enough for now. I'm just gonna fold this in. And yeah, the quinoa is going to absorb the liquid and it'll be much more thick like a chili consistency. Oh, I forgot to mention that I added in a lot of Frank's red hot sauce because Jim and I like our chili spicy. That's what it looks like and it tastes delicious and I know it's going to be even better when all the flavors come together after our workout. So I'm just going to cover it up and keep it on the stove and dinner's ready. So we made it down to the gym and we're ready for our workout. I'm super, super proud of us, like third day in a row. Um, this makes me feel so much better about going into the Christmas weekend and having that extra food because I actually um, have been healthy and exercised all week. So, so I'm probably just gonna do the treadmill for about an hour because I 
focused more on weights yesterday and my muscles are still a little bit sore so I'm just gonna do cardio today and then weights again tomorrow um, sometimes I do weights two days in a row three days in a row if, if my muscles are fine I don't necessarily follow any sort of workout plan I just kind of do what I feel like um, each time I come to the gym so I'm gonna start on the treadmill and if I get bored after 20 30 minutes I'll continue on the elliptical and um, I started like editing this footage that I had from Saturday and this morning and I noticed like it's overexposed, it's too bright, it gets blurry in and out of focus, it's slow motion, it's grainy, it's crazy. It's like my phone is better quality than this camera so I have no clue why I spent hundreds of dollars on this. Um, I guess I've got to like research maybe YouTube about this camera and figure out the settings or um, look through the manual or whatever. Um, anyway, so sorry if this vlog has been visually weird. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get this workout started and we'll see you guys later. gym and we're about to eat dinner and I think the consistency is perfect like there's still some liquid down here but overall it's nice and thick um Jim wanted meat in it but we didn't have meat do you like it it's really good it's a little bit of spice to it do you want more of the Frank's red hot maybe I'll just put some pepper flakes but I, I like the texture it's not super super thick but it's not running just right. Okay, let me taste it. Look how pretty, you guys. I love snow, as long as I don't have to drive in it. So I had to come back down to the gym because I left my camera here and I would have left my head if it wasn't attached to my body. I got upstairs and I served dinner and I wanted to film uh, like Jim's reaction and the way it looked. And of course I was like, where's my camera? So I had to film that on my phone and you'll notice like the difference in volume. Um, but yeah, so I ate dinner and I came down now to get it. Thank God it's still here. Um, yeah, it's, the gym's been pretty dead, so I wasn't worried. <clears throat> it's been dead all week this week because of the holidays, I guess. So um, I'm gonna end it here because I'm just gonna go upstairs and shower, get in PJs, watch some Netflix and go to bed. So if I don't get a chance to speak to you before Christmas, I hope you all have an amazing holiday, a happy new year, and we will see you in 2017. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe for more videos. We'll see you guys later. Bye.